why I decided to leave the United States part five. Yes, you heard me right. Me and my husband left the United States. We've been living abroad now for a few weeks. We are currently in Brazil. We're going to be moving around to different countries. And I've just been talking about some of the reasons why I decided to leave the United States. So make sure you hit that follow button if you haven't already. Just in case it's your first time coming across any of my videos, my name is Bianca Lynch and I show everyday people just like you how to travel without breaking the bank or sacrificing a bomb ass time. So let's talk about reason number five. And that reason is because we literally wanted to be surrounded by other people who had a bigger vision for their life than just going to work, paying bills, dying, or, you know, getting married, having babies, doing all, like, checking all the boxes and, like, nothing else. We wanted to be surrounded by people who wanted to meet people from different cultures. We wanted to be surrounded by people who appreciate other cultures. Because in the United States, we have a tendency to think that we're the best of everything. And that's how you know when you meet people who were like traveling and people who are not. Because again, it's one of those things where if you don't travel, you don't know. And I'm not judging them because I didn't grow up traveling. I remember being the ignorant ass American that I was. And now that I have, you know, evolved past that, it's why I started this page to inspire other people to travel. Like get out of your comfort zone, do something new. Y'all, my husband's been wanting to skydive for years. He did it last week. There was like 10 other people who did it. It wasn't even a big deal for them. And when I say it wasn't a big deal, I don't mean it wasn't a big deal like it wasn't an incredible experience because he absolutely loved it. Homeboy talk about getting certified and everything now. But when I say it wasn't a big deal, it's because when you talk to people who can't even be open-minded to having experiences like that, and listen, I'm not saying it has to be that extreme, but the point is, the fact that there were 10 other people here who were willing to do that. Like, y'all, the conversations we're having are like, where, where, where have you traveled in a row? What countries are you going to next? We're not obsessed with, like, what people are doing at their jobs and, like, where people work, how old people are, even, like, race. Listen, coming from a black person, like, honestly, like, and I'm not saying, like, it's been, like, flawless, but at the end of the day, like, the conversations are just different, and it's been amazing to be around people who have normalized having incredible experiences instead of normalizing living a mediocre ass life where no one's really happy. You're like in a job that you don't like. You're around, you, you're around people and it's not that you don't like them, but you know that you want more or you want to spend your time around different people. And we just make jokes, right? We just kind of like trauma bond around it, right? We make all these jokes about how like we just need to go like get drunk or whatever. Like y'all, it's, we get one life, like one life and we just, we wanted to do it differently. So yeah, that's another reason.